Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Westgarth Realty Audio Experience. Ladies and gentlemen, Seb Westgarth here from Westgarth Realty and welcome back to the podcast. On today's episode, we're going to cover the sales process of selling a tenanted property. We're very much a property management focused business, so looking after tenants is part of our bread and butter, but we also understand that owners need to sell, so hopefully we can give tenants, landlords and buyers a brief but detailed overview of the process. When an owner decides to put a rental property on the market, 98% of the time, the question that comes from the tenant is, am I going to be kicked out? The answer is easy. It's black and white, but can contain some gray areas. The black and white version is this. If a tenant is in a fixed term agreement, then that agreement comes before a contract of sale, meaning if the tenant wants to stay until the end of the lease, then they can. Uh, And the purchaser of that home will then become the new landlord. If the tenant is on a periodic agreement and the purchaser would like vacant possession, then a notice to leave form 12 needs to be issued allowing four weeks notice after the contract is signed. So what does the grey area look like? Well, we've negotiated contracts with buyers in the past who would like vacant possession. However, they've been tenants with a fixed term agreement in place. It isn't uncommon in these cases to negotiate with a tenant potential options for them to vacate the property sooner. What is negotiated will depend on the situations of the tenant and the purchasers as to what can be agreed upon at that point in time. Tenants in this situation still have the right to refuse to leave if they want to stay for the duration of their fixed term agreement. And a really sort of important thing to consider is that if a property is advertised for sale during the first two months of a fixed term agreement, and this includes renewed fixed term agreements, and the tenant was not made aware in writing of the proposed sale before entering an agreement, then the tenant can end that agreement with a Form 13 or a notice of intention to leave with two weeks notice without penalty. Some of the finer details of selling a tenanted property include supplying a Form 10 or a notice of lesser's intention to sell premises. Uh, If a landlord or an agent wants to show a property to a prospective purchaser, then 24 hours notice is required before each entry. Open homes and on-site auctions require the consent of a tenant, as do marketing photos and videos that may have the tenant's possessions in them. It's important to remember during the sales process that it can be a stressful time for tenants and sellers. It's always best to have a clear line of communication between both, whether that's through a property manager or a sales agent, or in the case of a private rental, the owner and the tenant. I often mention the tenants that uh, as much as it can be a pain and an inconvenience to have people coming through their home and having to have it presented in its best light all the time, if they were to treat it like an interview, that's what landlords are looking for. Potential landlords love to know that they have great tenants in place already when the contract reaches settlement and they will more than likely want to extend your agreement into the future. For landlords, it's a process of getting the home sold and ensuring that tenants are happy during the process for the same reason as above. Investors are looking for a property that's ready to go, tenants included. If your tenants are unhappy, then they tend to want to get out of the way of the sales process as quickly as possible. That's it for this episode. If you've got any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. My email is seb at westgarths.com.au. That's S-E-B at W-E-S-T. G-A-R-T-H-S dot com dot A-U.